Ryan here from Blue Hill Wildlife Nursery. Today we're going to take a look at pruning an apple tree. Right now we're looking at deer trails with a lot of scat on them. Uh, this property is six acres. Filled with a lot of trees. That there would be a fall draw, Chinese chestnut. Obviously, it you know, age four or five there is already dropping uh, lots of burrs. But today, we're going to look at pruning an apple tree. Um, this particular apple tree is is a wild apple. You know, obviously one I've grown from seed and, and planted. But nonetheless, still a wild apple. Um, this tree is a five years old and it doesn't take much to look at it and see that I've never done anything to it but as you plant say you're gonna plant wild apples from Blue Hill Wildlife Nursery they're inexpensive it, it's a great way to make a great improvement you know at the cheapest cost remove any growth below four foot down don't let any central leaders, or a double central leader, not a central leader. You want to let a central leader grow. But I'll show you that, because that's what we're going to do with this tree. We're going to prune it. And this hasn't been done in, well, looks like ever. I'll bring the phone over. Let's get right in this tree and I'll show you what I what I'm looking at. Alright. This is an apple tree for wildlife. I'm not looking at a commercial standpoint. This although it's a wild apple, this tree kicks off fruit late September through the month of October. It's very productive. Great tree. But if you get up here in it, like I said, we're not trying to prune this for a commercial market. The tree's productive. I don't need to do that. I'm just looking not to have that double leader up there that's growing up there about 12, 15 foot. I'm looking for a central leader and I'm looking to open this tree up, let the sunlight in. And let the air flow through. This is a double leader. You can see this must have been the central leader here. Don't know what happened to it in there. Two buds popped, grew a double leader. You can see there's about three foot of growth up on the top of those, but yet it's still a double leader. This right in here is going to be very, very weak. That that eventually this is this is going to split from the fruit load. So we want to remove one of those. And if you saw this tree, it's slightly leaning down the hill. So I'm going to take the one that's leave the one that's closest to the top of the hill I'm gonna get rid of that little guy and I'm gonna get rid of that whole big five-foot leader okay now the one central leader that looks pretty good 
the crotch angles this is like I said it's a wild apple tree the crotch angles not that good not that I'm that concerned because I can easily go up to here I just hit that I'm gonna hit this I'm gonna let this bud you see right there I'm gonna let that grow up make my new lateral that up there looks good nice scaffold in here you know there's no branches there for three foot nice nice branches kind of like a star shaped up there coming out perfect let that central leader go and grow I'm gonna remove anything that's in here I don't need that one You can see as we look at this tree too, there's lots of, of buds on there that are going to flower, lots of spurs. I'm going to remove this big branch. You see a lateral coming out. And then I'm going to leave that lateral there. It's going away from the central leader. Again, central leader over there going now. We prune that. Here's another branch coming off the central leader, but we got one going straight up, one going out. We're gonna let the one that's going out. And if you really wanna train branches, find an outward bud like that one right there. And I will prune that one leaving that outward bud that's going to dip down and go out see right there is the central leader that we're going to leave going and growing that branch right there but I'm going to go over I'm going to, I'm going to remove these branches and let those lateral, laterals right there go out and let these laterals all go out away from the central leader and have that be the, the main part of my tree I'm looking to grow a tree is, is big and tall as I possibly can. We're looking to grow for wildlife here. Not looking to walk up to the tree and be able to pick the fruit. I'm taking all this, this, the suckers that are coming up on 